we will discuss the redox reaction. Redox, the name itself is made of two words, reduction and oxidation. A reaction in which both oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously is called a redox reaction. To understand this reaction better, let us first understand what is oxidation and what is reduction. We discuss oxidation and reduction in terms of oxygen, hydrogen and electrons. Very simple to remember. You just remember one side, other side you can make yourself. Now let me be make myself more clear. Oxidation in terms of oxygen. Addition of oxygen to anything is called oxidation. When oxygen gets added to something, we say it is undergoing oxidation. So, just the opposite is reduction. Here it is addition means removal of oxygen is reduction. I am repeating. Addition of oxygen is oxidation. Removal of oxygen is reduction. Now in terms of hydrogen. Removal of hydrogen is oxidation. When hydrogen gets removed from something, we say it is undergoing oxidation. The opposite is reduction. Here it is removal means addition of hydrogen is reduction. So if hydrogen is removed, oxidation, hydrogen is added, reduction. Now in terms of electrons. Removal of electrons is oxidation. So just the opposite. Addition of electrons is reduction. So just to remember, it's a very simple way. Oxygen, hydrogen, electrons. Addition, removal, removal. So in oxidation, either oxygen is added or hydrogen is removed or electron is removed. The opposite is in reduction. Either oxygen is removed or hydrogen is added or electron is added. If any of these conditions are happening in a reaction, then it is a redox reaction. Copper oxide, when reacts with hydrogen gas, produces copper and hydrogen oxide or we say water. Now see what is happening in this reaction. In the reactant side, we have copper oxide, cupric oxide, but in the product side, we have copper. Means, what has happened to this copper oxide? Oxygen has been removed. So, removal of oxygen, removal of oxygen is reduction. So, what is happening to copper oxide? It is undergoing reduction. And what is happening to hydrogen gas? There was no oxygen with it. But here oxygen gets added. Addition of oxygen means hydrogen is undergoing oxidation. So in this reaction, copper oxide is undergoing reduction. Hydrogen is undergoing oxidation. So this is a redox reaction. Another example. Zinc oxide reacts with Copper, carbon. Zinc oxide reacts with carbon or coke. Here, from zinc oxide, you see it becomes zinc. That means oxygen has been removed. So again, it is removal of oxygen. So, zinc oxide is undergoing reduction. Whereas, with carbon, oxygen is getting added. Addition of oxygen. So, Carbon is undergoing oxidation. Here also reduction and oxidation are happening simultaneously. So this is also an example of redox reaction. Let us take another example. Chlorine when reacts with hydrogen sulfide gives hydrochloric acid and sulfur. Here you see chlorine. But in the product side you see hydrochloric acid or hydrogen chloride so what is happening to chlorine hydrogen is adding addition of hydrogen so what is happening it is undergoing reduction
hydrogen sulfide but here only sulfur means removal of hydrogen. So removal of hydrogen is oxidation. So this is another example of redox in terms of hydrogen. Addition of hydrogen is reduction. Removal of hydrogen is oxidation. Now there are two more terms related to redox reactions that is oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Let us understand what is an oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent is one which gives oxygen or removes hydrogen and causes oxidation. Reducing agent is one which gives hydrogen or removes oxygen and causes a reduction to happen. Let us understand this with an example. Let us take the example that we took earlier. Say for this reaction, copper oxide adding with hydrogen gas to give copper and hydrogen. Here, what is happening to cupric oxide? Its oxygen is being removed. Means from this, oxygen has gone away. So, it is helping hydrogen to take oxygen. So, it is giving oxygen. So, giving oxygen means it is helping in reduction. So, it is an oxidizing agent. So, very easy to remember. A substance which undergoes reduction is an oxidizing agent. Here, hydrogen is taking that oxygen. Means, it is helping this cup copper oxide for its removal of its hydro oxygen. That means when hydrogen is undergoing oxidation, actually it is a reducing agent. So very easy to remember. Please remember anything that undergoes reduction is an oxidizing agent. Anything that undergoes oxidation is a reducing agent. In this example, zinc oxide is undergoing reduction so it is an oxidizing agent whereas carbon is undergoing oxidation so it is a reducing agent so it is very easy to identify oxidizing and reducing agent if you understand or if you can identify the substances undergoing reduction and oxidation discuss corrosion now why we are discussing corrosion here because corrosion is nothing but a type of redox reaction. Corrosion is a very good example of redox in our daily day life. How we define it? Corrosion is a process of deterioration of a metal as a result of its reaction with air or water present in environment. A very common example of corrosion is rusting where iron undergoes oxidation. Iron when left open in humid condition or moist air it reacts with atmospheric oxygen and forms iron oxide. So it is nothing but a redox reaction. You might have observed corrosion of copper where copper vessels containers undergo oxidation. They attain a greenish coating that is because they undergo oxidation or corrosion. Another example of redox in our daily day life is rancidity. It's a very interesting phenomena where food materials containing fats and oils when left for some time get spoiled and give a foul smell and an unpleasant taste. This is because fats and oils undergo oxidation. Such oxidation of fats and oils is called rancidity. You might have noticed when chips or any other fried substance or pickles are left in open for a longer time, the taste changes, the smell changes. It is because oil present in such substances undergo oxidation and this phenomena is called rancidity. Now it is very essential to prevent rancidity to happen so that food items can be preserved for a longer time. Prevention of rancidity. Rancidity can be prevented by following any of these measures. Addition of antioxidants to foods. 
Now, antioxidants are those substances which do not allow oxidation to happen. So, if we add such substances to food items, then oxidation of oil and fat is restricted and they do not undergo rancidity. Keeping food in airtight containers. So, when we supply, uh, cut the supply of oxygen, definitely then rancidity will not happen. So, we should keep food in airtight containers to prevent rancidity. Flushing bags of chips with nitrogen gas. You must have observed when you buy a chips packet, they are swollen. It seems there is some gas inside it. It is nothing but they are flushed with nitrogen gas. This restricts, this prevents rancidity to happen. Hope you understood redox reaction and the different types of redox happening in our uh, daily day life in our surrounding. Hope you like the video. So, keep practicing and like, share and subscribe. Thank you.